Here's our picnic area and the view from our picnic area of the Oregon Mountains. And this looks to be a female warbler. They're gathering seeds that we put out for them to eat. And here's a male warbler. Notice the green on the back side. We're glad they're taking the seeds that we put out for them. This particular picnic site has more birds than the other picnic areas. A view of the city of Las Cruces. And here I am heating up some water. Many people come up here to visit, picnic, and hike. You're looking at a Mormon tea plant. And it's getting ready to bloom. La Cueva rock outcropping and some prickly pear cactus. It turned out to be a windy day today. It doesn't seem to bother the birds any. And some more hikers. I like their sticks, their walking sticks. I think I need one of those. And here's some potable water. I think they'd leave it dripping for the wildlife. And here's a little critter, a moth that's enjoying a nice cool drink. And the creosote, very green this time of year. We're walking a royal trail. This particular trail has more greenery, trees, and brush than some of the other trails, I think because it runs along an arroyo. And this is a view from underneath an old gray oak tree. My wife discovered a bee on a skunk brush. Other thing is what I've noticed here is that the leaves are starting to grow. The last time we were here, they didn't have those. We're heading into a more wooded area. I believe these are old, very old mesquite trees, but I'm not certain. Anyhow, it offers shade, and shade is welcome out here. The branches on these trees are very crooked and twisted. And in the summer, when they get their leaves, it offers quite a bit of shade. Over there is La Cueva, where the cave is. And this is a shot of the face of the cave, or the rocks, and underneath is the cave. 
You can see the pits and the rock face. There's a big boulder that fell down from the top. And a butterfly. We're coming out of the heavily shredded, uh, shrubbed area, moving back towards the picnic area. Here's lichen growing on a rock, different colors, some of it's rusty color, some of it's green. And again, the prickly pear cactus. Not sure what kind of plant this is. And there's a view of the outlying desert. You're looking at several mountain ranges. One of them is the Gila Wilderness. Spring flowers are in bloom right now. We had just a bit of rain. I think that was all it needed. And the golden poppy. This gave us a clue that there might be poppies on the other side of the mountain. But that's another story. Well, we're back at the picnic site. I'm getting ready to cook up some top ramen. I'm adding broccoli. and some Oscar Mayer beef franks. Seems simple enough. After those cook, I add the noodles. Did you come here for ramen in the mountains? Yeah, I came here for ramen. What'd you come up here for, shooting butterflies? Butterflies, birds. I Whatever I can get my hands on. I came up here to eat. All right. And I'm going to come up here for my top ramen and make the leave camping excursion. All right. I'm going <laughs> to shoot birds now, okay? You got to take shoot them. Well, you take videos no, of them. No, videos. Yeah, okay. I think it's a good idea. And here's the finished dish. We're putting this in our Corningware cup. It's probably an antique, but uh, we brought it up because it's heavy enough. It helps hold down the tablecloth in case there's a breeze that comes up. Another warbler. And a view of the mountain range, not too far from us, along with a male finch. I love the bright colors of red on this male finch. He's a pretty one. He stayed a while on this branch. The wind didn't bother him a bit. Surprisingly though, he wasn't interested in the seeds we put out for him. He must prefer to eat insects.
Look at these doves. It looks like they're getting ready to, to mate or fight each other. One of them's all puffed up. That must be the female looking to see what happens. Here's the birds that came for the seeds. I like the colors on top of their head. Well, now that lunch is over with, I'm getting ready to have a cup of coffee. We're having Folgers Instant Coffee, classic roast. And my wife likes to put a little bit of milk in her coffee. Me, I take it black. These doves don't seem to know what to do with themselves. They're just standing around. But if you look back behind this dove, you're going to see a quail. And it looks like the quail is trying to hide from us by hiding behind the dove. It's a beautiful bird, isn't it? There's a lot of quail out here, but you don't get to see them very often. They do hide well in the brush. There's the open desert. Beautiful blue skies today.